and Scalar 454 here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to tie in from this section right here all the way around to underneath the bridge and into our refinery section. I've already made some lines and markings, so I should be able to pull up the track and start laying down some cork. So hopefully we can get a lot done. Right here, I'm going to lay down a flat piece of cork because I have a building structure going right here. Now this cork I picked up from Ikea, uh, Avskill or whatever. Uh, it looks like there's four sheets in a bundle. It's super cheap. And more importantly, this cork is an eighth of an inch thick, which is exactly the same thickness as the Midwest uh, cork bed that you can buy uh, for the railroad. So it fits perfectly. Therefore, I recommend. Because I am making my layout so it can be separated in different sections, I need to cut the cork right here on this line. Like that. So of course we need to cut the track here to keep the layout separated into two halves. And I'm going to use a thin cutting disc on a Dremel. A little dab of glue and a push pin to keep the track in alignment. So that should about conclude this video. It might be a little bit short, but we did actually get quite a bit done. We did manage to tie in from our busy switching section right here, all the way into our refinery section, which has this new leg right here. That is for our new 
our latest building structure that uh, I just made. Uh, that is kind of a mining structure, but that's not going to be represented as a mining structure on my layout, and I look forward to explaining that later on as the, the build continues. But uh, that's done. I could not install this track right here because I'm still waiting on some structures uh, needed to figure out the track spacing. So that's on hold for now. We did lay some foam, so that's all glued down. And that allowed us to uh, complete the installation of our bridge abutments, which this is starting to show kind of what the elevation and uh, terraforming or whatever is going to start to look like. But most importantly, we finally got our bridge done. Which, you know, I was thinking that's going to be the hardest part, and I'd probably say it was, is making sure it was tying into here nice. So, you know, it works. Hey, there we go. So that was uh, really important because that allows us to move on to our next step, which is going to be wiring. And to be honest, I don't think it's going to be too bad because I've already laid a lot of my feeders, right? As you can see, you know, we're, we're mostly there. So in the next videos, hopefully we are going to wire this up. So be sure to subscribe for that. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.